Hey everybody, welcome back to the Guitar Tricks channel. I'm Neil Walter, your host from GuitarTricks.com. Got a tip of the week and a lesson of the week for you right here. The tip of the week is on how to get feedback out of your guitar when you're having trouble getting feedback. The tip is you walk over to your amp and you touch your guitar to the cabinet of your amplifier. Make sure that it touches the wood and the vibrations will resonate through the guitar and the amp and give you some feedback. Check it out. You're not quite getting that feedback. You can always turn it up loud, that always helps. Come over here and just touch your guitar, the body of your guitar against the amp, like this. What happens is the sound starts to resonate between the wood, the pickups and the speakers, and you get this great feedback going on. For our lesson of the week, we're going to show you how to use the whammy bar, aka the tremolo bar. And uh, one of these right here. Give you some tips and tricks on how to get rocking and rolling with your whammy bar action. And uh, some of the most obvious stuff is the dive bomb effect where you pluck the low E string. Basically, you're just plucking the low E string and dropping the tremolo arm down. Now, depending the way the way that you do it, the feel of it is really which dictates the sound that comes out, the way that the dive happens. Like you can just go and it's not gonna be cool is if you if you're listening and you really need to know how your tremolo works. So keep keep practicing until you get a good feel for your tremolo so you can get it to sound the way you want. You can also go the opposite way, start from the bar being dropped all the way, pluck the string, bring it back up. Works on any string. Also, if you do a trill and drop the whammy bar, that sounds awesome. Sounds great with harmonics, especially on the G string. Down or up. Well, this is a good combo, the 7th fret B, 5th fret G. You can also use it with pinch harmonics. I'm going to do a pinch harmonic on the 2nd fret. The G string right around the neck pickup. A little Eddie Van Halen trick. You can do a pinch, drop, back up, and then hit another harmonic on the way up. Really cool stuff. Also, here's another couple things you can do with your tremolo bar. If you bring it back all the way so that it doesn't drop, you might have to screw it in like that so that it sits right here. You can do a little flick on the back after you strike a note, and it's got a cool effect too. Check it out. Also grab it in the same position to raise the pitch of your note. If you have a Fender Strat, this probably won't work because it's got a, a flat tail piece that rests up against the wood. Tremolo is great for nice clean sounds, a little jazzy effect. Just a light movement of the bar. A few nice vibrato. With everything else, it just takes a little practice to get the feel down where you can execute it the way you hear it in your brain. That's our lesson for the week. Thanks for tuning on in right here at Guitar Tricks channel. Check us out at guitartricks.com or leave me a request right here on YouTube. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. Come on back in a week and we'll show you some more stuff right here. Have a great week, everybody.